motion and then we'll have discussion after that motion. How many are in favor of the tr patron being banned for six months? And uh, and you, you do you have? I had a question. We'll okay. do the questions after. Uh huh. Okay. After the motion, but I think uh, a, a lot of the trustees feel strongly that the patron needs to be banned based on precedent for 12 months. The patron will have a right to come to our meeting next month to appeal the decision, and so that's always the patron's right. But given the nature and the climate going on, and the fact that it happened four times, and it made a lot of the patrons feel uncomfortable, as well as the staff, I, I don't think we can tolerate that behavior. So just curious, uh, what about 12 months? Because nobody raised their hand for six months. I'm 12 months. Okay. Uh, Trustee Johnson? Uh, I don't know. What do you think, Madam President? I'll, I'll defer to you. 12 months is uh, what I think, based on what the patron did. And, I'll follow your lead. Okay. So can I we have a motion? I move that we adopt... Um, a 12-month ban for this patron. I second it. Is there a, are there discussion? Do you have additional mm -hmm. questions? You had some questions since this is time to ask. I was wondering, um, there seems to be, is there a six, is it by six month extension? So it's six, 12, I mean, did we choose that In amount of time based on the number of incidences, how, how did we choose the interval, I guess, or the duration? Well, I think time? Trustee Austin wanted, I mean, not Trustee, our Director Austin wanted six months. But based on some past behavior and, to me, the severity of the incident, there are a lot of people that are very uncomfortable. Yeah, I think I was wondering why not longer, I guess. Why not indefinite? Are we... This is what we typically give. We don't have many, many instances. Well, our history on this topic has been we've the number of incidents has increased over the last several years. You know, the the, the frequency with which this issue comes before the board um, has increased dramatically over the last few years, which is to say that we now have from from one to four of these occurring per year when for a very long time it simply didn't happen. You know, we didn't have cases of this sort. Um, I think this is generally a trend for all libraries. Um, this isn't the first incident that we've had with this patron. Um, this patron has a track record he is yeah. known to the police. And I read the, I read the. And report. and so the issue for us has been, what we our policy is that the director, if the director feels that it's that a, a suspension of privileges is needed, the director only has authority to do so to the next board meeting, and then it is the board's responsibility to make the judgment um, under our current policy. The. Um, the severity of the behaviors in this case is what really leads to um, the recommendation of a year. We have, if there were any evidence that the patron's behavior would be, have changed or the patron were offering apologies for behavior, that would provide additional evidence to consider. That's not true in this case. Um, the patrons become more aggressive rather than less aggressive. And that's actually what kind of worried me. You know, do we have any assurance that there won't be any retaliation during during this time or after the 12 months if we do choose 12 months? And, you know, non, like no tolerance, I think, is kind of what, you know, especially if the Wilmot Pub Police had to be involved, is kind of what I would kind of favor. No tolerance of, you know, not using the library. You know, it seems to me that it's, it seemed to me that not having a library card, you know, only using a state license, that's very, that's kind of odd to me, not wanting to, you know, if, if he was a regular 
um, you know, if he was a regular user, you would think he would have no problem with that. I mean, there's just kind of odd behaviors that, I mean, I just don't think. Generally, the library is open to all, and we encourage people to come. Absolutely. As long as they act without offending somebody of else. I'm saying kind of with the addition of this poor behavior, that just seemed odd. That seemed kind of like an odd, um, you know, not uh, unwillingness, I think, an odd unwillingness on, on his end. And well, you have an increase in homeless, a homeless, patron, homeless patrons using the library. You have an increase in people with some uh, mental but issues. That are disturbing... That no, no. Oh, that's what I'm saying. I don't know the nature of his yeah, residence or what his, you know, yeah, what this, so. dis, of what this. I don't his recall that patient. any of the people who've been banned. subject to this kind of action have been Wilmette residents. We don't limit access to the building to Wilmette residents. Um, we only limit behavior limit based on behavior that violates our policies with respect to uh, behavior toward other patrons and, and staff. I, and I hope that you don't, you're not understanding that I'm limiting it on his residency. I think it was more on the behavior and, and right, together. The, com right, the combination of all the elements Correct. that this person, yes. Right. Yeah, no, I think it's Correct. very clear in what you're saying I, to me. Correct. Um, yeah, and, and, and again, the, the advantage or disadvantage you have is this is, since this is your first board meeting and we've had a couple, as, as Ron mentioned, we've had mm -hmm. a couple other is, uh, patron issues in the last year or two, we've we've kind of addressed things based on, you know, we've had kind of an, ask, depending on what the what the um, the uh, incidents are about and how, and how far they break the rules, um, what to do. And, and you're, I mean, your concerns are, are, are very, I think, very fair. Um, in, in my thinking is that by doing it for a year, and, and, um, and the person, again, has a chance to appeal next month, um, but that, uh, you know, when a year goes by, they come back and they do something again, then it's going to become a permanent ban. But again, it is kind of, in this case, it's not a three strike, it's a one strike kind of a circumstance, and they're already having a it's series of like warnings. Four strikes. Exactly, I'll say they're having a series of warnings already. Four yeah, strikes. yeah, in terms of the band part, it's yes. And and we have, yeah, so that's the, yeah, but if, if we need to kind of extend and this another month and discuss a permanent ban, we can do that, but I, I, I don't know what everybody else thinks, yeah. What's the likelihood that he'll come to the appeal? Have any of the residents? One, oh, one, yeah. one did. Some have. One yeah. did. No, yeah. three have. Oh, three? We've okay. had three uh, residents. However, three the nature of the people who are generally involved in this is that they're looking for a place to, uh, to, to be physically, to just go to for a period of time, and when they are asked to leave one, they find another. Um, that's a regular pattern. We've mm -hmm. had Skokie residents, Wilmette residents, uh, well, not actually. I don't recall any Wilmette residents. We've had Evanston residents, Skokie, and Wilmette. Chicago. There, one lived in Wilmette. Okay, but the bottom line yeah. is, they're looking for a place to land when they don't have very many other places to go to, and being asked not to be here simply means they're looking somewhere else. Um, we, I don't know if legally we have the authority to do a permanent ban. Uh, there's, you know, there are legal issues that would have to be researched before we could even determine whether that's something that would be feasible. And I'm not proposing that we would have a permanent ban in our policy. Um, if something is at that level of magnitude, it's a police matter, and it should be handled through those channels. But this is a case in which, and we've had other situations like this, in which a patron behaves in such a way to be perceived as a threat to staff or other patrons. That's enough under our policy for us to basically say to them, for this period of time, we would like you not to be here. That's all we have authority to do. We can't extend beyond that, you know, the, the, we control this building, period. That's all. So, the, you know, we have to operate within the limits of our own authority. And I think also what's been added is pending uh, the patron's return, the patron will need to meet with the director prior to being allowed back into the library for them to assess. But you can't guarantee who's coming in, or you can't. There are no guarantees. You can only 
do best practices in terms we of did have at one time back. a resident well a non-resident who asked for permission to park an rv in our parking lot and use this as his permanent address and we said no upon further inquiry he had been parking out at Arlington Heights or Prospect Heights, I don't remember which one. When the police did eventually have to do something, he did something that caused them to have to get into the RV. They found over 500 San Francisco Public Library books in his vehicle. I don't remember what the exact number was, but it was a very large number considering the fact that he was simply, he just, he, I don't know if he checked them out or just stolen them, but the bottom line was they were clearly marked as San Francisco Public Library property, and he was driving around the country with them. Collecting library books. Um, so, you know, you never know what you're going to face when someone decides that this looks like a good place, let's see what I can do here. That's simply part of the world we're in today. You know, so, but we still have to operate within the limits of our own authority. And balancing public access versus safety and, and security, right. feeling, feeling for, for patrons and staff to feel safe mm -hmm. there. You know, that's 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 the most important thing, but sure. not sacrificing public access. Trustee, yeah. I mean, I, keep going, I may have elevated you, maybe not. <laughs> Direct. <Yeah. laughs> Do you have anything you want to add, Anthony? The only other thing that I would add to this is that the library, the library serves everyone. We serve everyone. We treat everyone equally. And um, it, it would be my goal to rehabilitate anyone who um, uh, seeks to use the library. Um, and I believe that has been the goal of the library board as well in trying to extend services. Mm -hmm. Again, as, as uh, Trustee McDonald said at the outset, we have policies in place um, to establish standards of conduct for those who are in the building. As a public building, there are certain expectations that we expect in, in civil society. And the library um, wants to promote a quote, quiet, pleasant environment that is conducive to study as well as casual use. And the conduct that was exhibited by this individual um, was disturbing. And that's really what, what is at, at hand here. Despite regular correction, this individual disturbed um, the experience of patrons and staff alike and created um, a, a frequently offensive and threatening environment for others here. Um, so despite the corrections, um, we were kind of left with no further recourse but to pursue this, um, this approach. Um, again, as was indicated, it would be my goal with anyone whose behavior needs to be corrected here to reinforce what the standards of conduct are, um, to help to educate that individual about the scope of services that the library is offering, um, that we are a place that is open and welcome to the entire community or anyone who wishes to come into this public building. Um, my goal is to serve everyone and to serve everyone equally and to provide those services. There's so much to learn and enjoy at the public library. Um, this individual um, was trying to use the library but was also affecting the experience of others. So um, given the chance and opportunity um, after a period of suspension to meet with this individual and to help them to um, be reminded about what the purpose of the library is in society and how we can best serve them, I would, I would welcome them back as long as they can abide by the standards of conduct. The library cannot change an ideology of an individual. Um, they're welcome to hold the opinions that they have. In this instance, um, this individual should keep their opinions to themselves and not disturb the, the uh, experience of other individuals here. So um, to your question, um, Trustee Riddle, will this individual want to come uh, and appeal uh, the suspension? Um, I, I don't know. Uh, they, they may or may not. Um, um, we'll, we'll find out. I think I'm just concerned as a mom, you know, and the aggressive behavior. I wouldn't want that around my children. I, I would think that after a year that would anger this type of person. Uh, six months would anger this type of person. This is just my thoughts, my assumption of this aggressive behavior. And anti-Semitic language is, there's no tolerance for that, you know, in my, you know, I guess culture and my, like, you know, persona, you know, in my family. And um, so I just don't think that that, you know, has a place in a public uh, center of Wilmette that, you know, where I live. And I would be afraid of retaliation if, 
you know, who's to say it at the appeal? I don't, I don't have any background of this individual, you know, especially what's happening, you know, in this country with, with violence um, in public schools. Um, I, I just, I don't feel, I didn't feel comfortable reading that. I didn't, I didn't have a good feeling about that. I just had a gut not good feeling about the person. So 12 months seems seems definitely fine. And I, if anything, I'd say, you know, I have, have no tolerance for a longer longer period of time. But I understand now, after this discussion, we, we can't do that for a longer period of time. And I appreciate, um, Director Austin, your words on rehabilitation. That is very something good to mm -hmm. keep in mind. And I think everybody has a chance for, you're right, rehabilitation. So thanks for that. Okay. Are we ready to vote? Want to do a roll call? Mm -hmm. uh, we're voting on the suspension. The 12, the 12, 12 month suspension. Suspension. It's been moved and seconded. Okay. Thanks. Trustee Riddle. Aye. Trustee Johnson. Yes. Trustee Rogers. Yes. Trustee Wolf. Yes. Trustee McDonald. Aye. Trustee Barshis. Yes. Trustee Fishman. Yes. Okay. That concludes.